What's up everyone, this is Karan here back with another video. Welcome to Tech Karan YouTube channel. I have installed Zen UI on my Xiaomi's Redmi Note 8. This is a ported build, this is a ported room, which is based on Android version 10. You get a lot of features and a lot of major bugs, including that. I'll show you everything in this video, so make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started right now. Okay, so first of all, let me show you this one is my device name showing as MI90, but this is my Redmi Note 8. This is ported from MI90. You can see the Android version is based on Android 10, but you get the security patch of pretty old 1st of March 2020. But yes, it's a ported room. This is not a build. This is not a room from source. So there are some bugs. Some are minor. Some are major. I'll show you everything in this video. First of all, we will start with the home screen. If you talk about the home screen, you don't get any swipe down gesture. This was the one first thing which I was missing a lot. This has two launchers pre-installed. Let me just show you. The two launchers are pre-installed. First one is the Asus launcher. Second one is the OnePlus launcher. And I've used both of these launchers. I've just installed. I'm just using OnePlus launcher because of the performance and the smoothness. But the default swipe down gesture is not working at all. When you click on home settings, you have the option to enable swipe down and shelf from here. But unfortunately, it's not working at all. I've tried to enable it. It's not working. But yes, shelf is working. But after some time, it gets disabled. As you can see, shelf option is also disabled here. This was the first bug. This could be the minor bug for some. This could be the major bug for some. As you can see, it's on, it's off. It's automatically doing some things like that. Double tap to log option is available here. I don't know if it's working or not. It's working. Okay, it's fine. Double tap to wake, double tap to log. Both these things are perfectly working. That's something good, something interesting. Okay, so moving on to some other things. As you can see, it's OnePlus launcher. So it has all the settings of OnePlus device, OnePlus launcher. You have icon pack option, which you can install from Google Play Store and use it on your device. Home skin look is pretty much good, looking nice, all the wallpapers are fine. And if you talk about one of the major bug also, as you have noticed, I've installed two G cams, one open camera. I was using this for testing purpose, but unfortunately camera is not working at all. I've installed Gcam 7.3, that's not working either. Gcam 7.3 by Urini, I don't know, it's not working too. Installed all Gcams, nothing had worked for me. I don't know what's the issue here, but this could be the major bug. And also I've installed open camera from Google Play Store that's not working either so camera is type of a major bug for all of the users i think if you're using a room without camera it would be pretty difficult for you so google camera or any camera is not working for you which is a major bug okay so let me show you another bug this one is a bug for me i don't know for all others also or not YouTube is not working at all i've installed youtube brands i have installed youtube from google play store and installed Google, I uh, installed YouTube from Google Chrome or anywhere else also, but YouTube is just keep loading, loading and loading at all. It's not working, I don't think so. It's a working thing, I think it's a bug. This also could be the major bug for some and also for some it could be the minor bug and I am here to show you all those bugs also. Moving on to the Geekbench score, the Geekbench score is also not that much great, which I was expecting because of the performance. 292 is the single core score and 1214 is the multi core score, which could be better. But yes, it's not good. So Geekbench also not good. Camera not working. YouTube not working. Swipe down gesture not working. There are a lot of bugs available. Yes, it's a ported room, but has a lot of bugs. But still, if you want to use this build, you can use this build as your test build, as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Bluetooth media. All these things are perfectly fine. So these things matters a lot for some users. So if you can sacrifice your camera and you can use this thing for your device as a daily driver. 
network and internet has some options available as you can see all these things are perfectly fine if you talk about the sound and vibration it has new options like sync volumes and smart volume option you also get the outdoor mode option and here you get touch vibration phone ringtone alarm sound and notification sound some of these options are available here audio wizard option is just showing here but it's not available if you talk about the battery backup it's almost good almost not that much good you can see the battery usage since full charge asus live wallpaper caused me 18 percent of the battery which is very very bad but yes it's a live wallpaper so these things might be happened android system android system has is two percent of my battery and screen on time is only one hour and three minutes which which caused me two percent of battery so I'm not saying battery backup is awesome, I'm not saying battery backup is bad, everyone has their own preferences. So you can increase the battery backup if you want to. Moving on to the display, it has splendid option where you can adjust the colors of your display. This is one of the best features which I personally like to use and I just want this feature on MIUI and all other rooms also which looks pretty much impressive system color scheme. You have the option of choosing the light or dark theme these things are available here power menu button style you can use the classical option you can choose the colorful option you can choose the calm and you can choose the elegant option so let me try with colorful it's working or not i think it should work it's working and looking perfect so these are the options which you get here four styles of power menu which is a kind of new thing it's not available for all other things if you talk about the system navigation it has full screen gestures available but not an option of hiding the pill or anything else but okay okay this is not bad at all navigation bar options are available where you can change the button layout also recent app key you can tap and hold to take screenshot it has some other options like always show recent apps tap and hold to activate multi window and tap and hold to take screenshot these three options which you get here and you can use any option for this thing you also get two options of changing the button layout like this one or this one if you're using a layout of buttons but i'm using full screen gestures so i don't need this okay so you also get option of font style where you get three fonts first one is default obviously it's available here and two other fonts like felbridge and cinder these two things are available actually this is an app as you can see by the icon this is an app which is pre-installed and these two options are available if you know that how to use this app you can install more fonts also but it's quite complicated but as a normal user you can use this normally okay location and in security and lock screen first of all google play protect find my device all things are fine even google play system update is fine too but security update as you can see red icon which means security patch is outdated right now okay but if you just want to use as i already told you you cannot use this build as your daily driver if you just want to use this build go for it and try it Another bug if I talk about that is face recognition which was expected because we don't get camera working which means face lock will definitely not work as you can see 0% please keep your face within the circle but guys it's not working so it's also a bug for some it could be the major bug for some it could be the minor bug wallpaper slideshow options are available and device admin apps encryption and credentials and all other things moving on to advanced it has a lot of things like twin apps which might be called as a dual app you can use this option to create dual app on your device it has youtube which is supported thing but the thing is youtube is not working at all as i already shown you YouTube is not working at all, YouTube is not loading your accounts or whatever else so it's not it's not recommended that you can use and you can use a dual app because if in one app it's not working how could it be used in the second app. Safeguard option is available here, I have not used this thing. Okay quickly make an SOS call and send an SMS message. Okay that's a cool thing. It's available here you can click on agree and click on done option. You have to just write the permission. Okay hello 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 hello. It's available here which is SOS feature available here. You also have the mobile manager option. These apps are pre-installed here which you can use. Will take some time to open. Okay this is how you can free up your RAM 
data usage, memory cleaner, cleaner, privacy and security, OptiFlex option. Some some things I have not used even once in my life, so I am not sure about how about these features and how they work. And if you click on gestures, this is how it works. So gestures are not working at all. That's why swipe down gestures are not working screenshot options are available where you can choose a notification to show if you take a screenshot or not these things are working pocket mode and glove mode these are the options you get in advanced accessibility digital well-being and everything is just fine these things i have already shown you i've already shown you which things are perfectly fine you also get the work profile okay let me try if it's working with youtube right now or not YouTube was kept loading in my previous thing and okay here also YouTube is not working at all it's also a bug in my case these things I have already shown you these things are from today's video I hope you like this thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe